Excellent. Okay, everyone. So today I did a little demonstration with uh, uh, a guy in my NHL 94 community named Chaos. We tested RetroArch remote play through Steam. Now, a lot of you might have saw ETA Prime's video where he shows RetroArch uh, being now added to Steam. And again, it's in beta version. But I wanted to show what I thought the most important part was, uh, which was the remote play on Steam and how it was going to work. And hopefully it was better than direct connecting through RetroArch NetPlay. Uh, so we're going to test it out. Um, we, we actually did it on Twitch earlier. I'm going to show some, cli some clips from that. But just know on this example, we're running Genesis Plus X. It's one of the 10 current uh, available emulators on uh, on the uh, RetroArch on Steam. But you can add any other uh, emulator you want. Uh, as long as you have the DLL file and you drag it into the right folder, which we did anyway. But we always play on Genesis or SNES. Um, so uh, SNES 9X. But we wanted to use one of those as an example for uh, remote play, net play. So let's take a look at um, what we did here. And I want to preface this by saying controllers were an issue. Originally trying to get connected and get the controllers connected, uh, there's some settings you have to do in inside Steam for a lot of the controllers, such as my retro flag here. I had a little bit of problem uh, setting it up and getting it to connect with, uh, once we did remote play, it just, there were some settings not right. You had to go into quick menu controls. And I'll touch a little bit on that, but just know that it's not an easy process on some controllers. So I switched over to an analog stick 8 bit though. Uh, I didn't have to go into the Steam controls to configure it. It just pretty much worked out of the box with uh, when he hosted and it worked out of the box when I hosted. So right now, what I wanna show you uh, beforehand is you gotta add people to your friends list. And you're going to view your friends list right here. You're going to add them. And you can see I do not play on, on uh, Steam very often. Um, but I was excited to try this RetroArch remote play. But what, what you're going to do once you download RetroArch as a game in Steam, you're just going to launch it. And once you launch it, it's going to bring up RetroArch uh, just like this. Normally, this is the Ozone theme. Um, you know, you'll basically be familiar with this if you've used RetroArch. And then once uh, you have it open, you're going to go to your friends list here and you're going to right click on them. And then you're going to say remote play together. And once you do that, you're going to want to have a chat room open with that individual. And you'll see in this box that pops up, your chat box, you'll see a box come up that says accept uh, remote play or play with uh, your friend. Um, I'm not doing it right now. You'll see a little clip of it in the Twitch stream example that we did that I'm going to play in a little bit for you. Um, but then you just hit accept that. So let me play some of the highlights and then I'll get back and tell you my overall thoughts of this remote play with uh, RetroArch on Steam. Oh, there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Hit play. play. Got it. Oh, I, I want to show people. Oh, mm -hmm. you, you'll see it pop up in the chat window. And what I was doing was incorrect. See, I was, it's right there if you wanted to play. Whereas I was looking in here to try and play and, and, and that wasn't right. It was right there. So um, that's the way, that's the way you want to accept the invite right there. That now, over by overlaying, remote play, broadcast. So I don't know if yeah. it's connecting. So now it's, it says for me, return to game to resume. So if I, if I hit shift and tab on my keyboard, It'll get rid of my Steam overlay and go back to the game. Okay. Okay. Now, do you see anything? Yeah. Yeah, we're in. We're in. I see. Okay. I see your screen right now. You see me moving? Yep. I see you moving. There's Not... me. Steam Link Virtual Gamepad number one. Yeah. And you're there, number two. Right. So I try, might... try the game and see if I can move. All right. Try the game. Okay. It says you're connected because you'll see it said configured in port number two. Yeah. Let's see if. Uh... All right. See if you can move here. That was really loud. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I can move. I can. But I, I want to tell people, man. 
there's some, there's some huge input lag when I move. When I push down, it takes a little bit and up in order to get the cursor or the, the box to move. <laughs> uh, so it, and it's significant. It's at least two frames, I would say. But, uh, two frames, to be honest with you, is not terrible. Yeah. It's, but it's not. I mean, it's it, it's it's much more than on retro. Much more. Mm -hmm. retro, I should direct that. But okay, you want to start? All right, let's just play. <laughs> I can move. Okay, so I'm moving the thing. I can edit my lines if I want, and that's my D-pad. Uh, but I'm ready to start. Go ahead. I can still see it's just uh, I think, you know, we've played this before, guys, but... dump button but on my side I don't know if guys can tell it's extremely it's extremely choppy extremely extremely grainy uh, it's it's like a smooth type of choppy it's, it's just very bizarre <laughs> it's just, See, like when I switch my guy, I think it doesn't switch because it's taking so long for that, like the frames delay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. Ooh, oh. For the person that, that, that's connecting to the host, it's just, it's brutal compared to regular RA. And direct so, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty good, but again, I'm, I'm the host. And the game is being played on my right. PC, whereas you're getting a stream of my game. Holy it's least. Funny because it looks fine on me. Yeah, it's um, like, it, like I don't see you lagging at all. Yeah. You know. Yeah, or, or like an actually, you know, like side scroller. Yeah. Co we all know that these games are. Whoa! What just happened there? Chaos, you no, no, no. there? Yeah. It just totally stopped. Disconnected? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it totally disconnected. <laughs> right in mid game, I wasn't even doing anything. If you do shift and tab with the uh, retro arches open, it'll bring up Steam Overlay. Oh, okay. Where you'll Hold see on. Your... <laughs> so in retro arch, you're saying hit shift and tab. Okay. Yeah, it brought up a whole bunch of crap. Yeah, so you should see your friends list, and yep. then you could double on me. So I mean, sorry, right click and then uh, right click, there. remote play together. All right. Okay. I, yeah. Are you yeah, in? in? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's try now. You got anything? You, that's yeah, you. I got it now. Okay, let me try. You're right. It is slow. <laughs> I told you it's slow. Look at you. You acknowledged it right off the bat, how slow it is. All right, let's start a game. All right, let's <laughs> it's, go. it's perfect on my end. I mean, I'm getting almost, you know, minimal, minimal lag. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's pretty, um, it's not terrible, um, connection-wise, but, uh, very grainy. Yeah, it's grainy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It is. It's choppy. I feel it. It's choppy. It's perfect on my end. I mean, this is. Yeah. <laughs> See, you're getting what I was getting. I mean, this is almost uh, really good. Running into my goal with chaos. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is perfect on my end. It's, it's hilarious. It's night. I mean, how bad is it? On tell people how bad it is, so they know or how good it is. It's choppy. It's it's very like I don't see when I'm Wayne Gretzky or any of these guys. It's when they're skating, it's not smooth. 
Okay, everyone. So there you have it. You see the example of the remote play. There's a lot of work, in my opinion, that needs to be done now. Granted, playing a more uh, intense game when it's sports and it's uh, a little back and forth. It's not an alternating player like a golf or another game. There's probably a bunch of settings um, that can be fixed, but uh, we didn't. We we don't want to mess with that. That's you know. That's we want it to just to work right out of the box. Uh, now you might say that, oh, well, Rex, you were you were streaming at the same time. We played it when I wasn't streaming, and it was the same exact thing. Uh, it had no impact actually on the net play at all or the remote play at all. So after that example, my assessment is that Direct Connect on RetroArch net play, not using Steam, is still better than uh, the remote play. Now again, we only tested one core. Uh, I doubt it'll be any different because Genesis is one of the cores that works the best actually when you are doing netplay. So I don't see it getting better if you're doing any further console like PS1 or something like that. But thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you get all the next videos. Thanks again.